of different types of carbohydrates ranging from our fibrous veg to our faster acting and low glycemic ones for different times throughout the day, I can head back to the kitchen and get started on our carb conscious health meals that are gonna help you shed the weight without losing the muscle. Okay, that's the last of the ingredient ready. Great, now that I'm back in the kitchen, we can start to take a closer look at some of these carb conscious meals with the ingredients I picked up in the store earlier. But before I do, I'd like to share with you three points that will allow you to keep carbohydrates in your diet and still focus on fat burning and healthy muscle gains. These are, number one, food type. It's important that we understand the different types of carbohydrates available so that we know the difference between slow, complex carbohydrates, and some of these faster acting high glycemic fruits. So we'll take a look at those within these meals a little later on. The second one is food portion, or rather the amount. How much of these carbohydrates is it safe to eat at each meal? If we have too much, there's a risk it could be stored as body fat. Too little, there's a risk our body will start wasting away or catabolizing muscle for fuel. And thirdly, timing. When is it best to have these carbohydrates throughout the day? And this also relates around breakfast and workout, both before and after. So we'll be taking a look at that. Okay, I think we should get started. First up, breakfast, and for that I'll be making this high glycemic, complex carbohydrate oatmeal pancake. Let's check out the ingredients. So what I have here for the first carb conscious meal is a combination of oats. We looked at these as a slow release energy, complex carbohydrates, Really the best type of breakfast cereal we can buy is the other one had high amounts of sugar. And we're combining the slow release complex carbohydrates with some faster acting ones, some blueberries here and some banana, both of which give us about equal amounts of sugar as we do with the complex energy in the oats. So that's gonna help raise our blood sugar level after it having dipped throughout the night time. And then the slower, more complex energy releasing oats will provide us with a good two to three or four hours of constant energy release throughout the morning. So this is great for anyone who works out in the morning or is looking at maintaining as much muscle as possible. But it's important we combine these carbohydrates with some protein. And for that, I'll be using this Body Raise Pro Effect Whey, some pure whey protein combined with some egg whites from these five eggs. Let's get started. This one's really quick and simple and it tastes great too. What I'm gonna do is, with the blender here, start by adding the oats. 40 grams in there. I'm gonna save the fruit for after, and instead add these egg whites. Just crack them on top, separate the yolk from the white. It's important that we combine essential complete proteins with this combination of egg whites and the whey powder to allow these carbohydrates to be shuttled into the muscle along with the building blocks from the amino acids in the protein. So a nice combination of pure, high quality ingredients. So egg whites and oats in there. Let's get some of this whey. This is vanilla protein, one of the highest quality forms of protein. I'm gonna add about a scoop and a half in there. Altogether, these two or three pancakes, depending how big you make them, will give you about 45 grams of protein, 45 grams of complex carbohydrates of equal blend with those fast acting and slow release ones, and only about five grams of fat. So altogether, these two or three pancakes come in at just under 500 calories. A little bit more to add. Three basic ingredients in there. I'm gonna add a pinch of this nutmeg and cinnamon both for flavor and its fat burning thermogenic properties in there. It will also help regulate blood sugar level, so that will help stop the sugars from the fruit from increasing the insulin too high. And that's what we need to worry about. When the insulin goes up, the body can start taking the sugar out from the blood and potentially dumping it in fat. When it comes to breakfast, when I was a kid, I used to love putting jam and other condiments on top of my pancakes, and these weren't the healthy kind of pancakes. So instead of adding jam to these, I wanna keep them healthy and fairly low carbs, or at least low in sugar, so I'm adding a few droplets of this stevia extract. It's a natural 
plant extract that's about 300 times sweeter than sugar. So we only need a tiny amount in there. Plus it's natural, so our bodies are gonna be able to metabolize it a lot better. Time to mix. Wow, smells incredible. Just a few seconds in the blender, all of our ingredients is nicely mixed up. Should get about two medium-sized pancakes out of that. Next thing we need to do is fire up the stove over here and get the pan heated up. Even though I'm using a non-stick pan, I'm still gonna use a little bit of this low-cal non-stick spray so that when we put the pancake mixture in, we can easily take it out without it sticking and burning. And every time we add carbohydrates to heat, their molecular structure, the chain between the bonds get broken down, and this will actually increase the speed at which the sugars can go from the gut into the bloodstream. So we wanna try and keep the carbohydrates, the original ones from the oats, as complex as possible. So low heat when cooking with carbs. Now I've got enough for two medium sized pancakes here, so only half the mixture goes into the pan now. That should take no more than about two or three minutes, turning it after about two minutes until it's slightly golden brown on top. So while that's cooking, let's have a look at the fruits that we're gonna be adding to this really perfect blend of muscle building and energy releasing throughout the morning oatmeal pancakes. So the fruits we have here, good serving of fruit, blueberries, high in antioxidants to fight the free radicals, and a good serving of banana here, which has some good fast acting sugars, and is also high in potassium, which is great for if you work out early in the morning and you need to replenish some of those lost electrolytes, especially if you're cramping in the next day or two from DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness. So from this combination, we're getting a good mixture of free radical fighting antioxidant properties in the blueberries and a nice balance of complex and fast acting carbohydrates with the oats and the banana. So this is gonna turn out to be a great tasting muscle building breakfast meal. It's looking like it's almost done. Let's just give it a flip to make sure we give it some heat on the other side. Look at that, golden brown. Another minute or so on there and then I can remove that pancake start to fold in some of these fast-acting sugars in the fruit and get the rest of the ingredients in the pan.